Hello everyone and welcome to my new video of how to make your own discord bot in python. So let's get started. So guys in today's video we will be seeing how we can create anime commands through a module named animec. So let's right get into it. So guys animec is a really flabbergasting module for animes so i've given the link of this documentation in the description so here we have some related functions to it so this anime class returns us the url name title and a lot of other attributes we will be using them we have anime lyrics which we we'll, we which we can use to you know search anime lyrics of a particular anime song or something we have anime news through which we can fetch certain amount of news we have character search through which we can search for different characters and get their profile image, profile name, their references as you can see here. We have Beifu. Yeah, we have Beifu. So we have a lot many categories for this. So you can have a look at them. So in this video, for the sake of simplicity and for the time being, I'll be making only three commands for our anime cog. So our anime cog will have an anime command. It will have an anime news command and it will have a character search command. So let's get coding. So I've just created a new file name anime.py and I'll import my discord. Then I'll say my from my discord.ext import my commands. Now I'll create one class which will be named as anime. It will be a commands.cog. And I'll create one init for it and the init will have a bot parameter so I'll just pass my bot and it will be my self.bot is equal to bot. Now I'll just uh, create my setup function. So we have done the setup functions in other cogs as well so I'll not go explaining this stuff but just we'll have one description for the cog so that we can brief more in the help command so I'll just say anime commands for weebs maybe. So you can you can you know put anything in it. I am just putting a description to our class. Now let's create the function. So I'll create one anime search function for first. So I'll I'll not pass any aliases. You can pass aliases, and I'll say async def my anime. It will be self my ctx. Then we'll pass the you know query like the anime name. So it will be like this. So I'll just pass my query. Now if we see through our anime, as you can see it has a, it requires a query. So there are chances that there are no corresponding animes found for a certain query of animes. So what we'll do is we'll just put this in a try except statement. So I'll just say my try, I'll just say my anime is equal to my anime dot so it auto imported so make sure to import it and uh, let me tell you before you need to pip install it as well so you can just go here and say pip install animic so yeah i have already installed it and it's pretty much obvious so i'll just kill the terminal and what i'll say is i'll say my animic dot anime so yeah and it requires the query i'll pass the query so if the anime is found then well and good and if not then we'll uh, you know send a warning in the ctx so i'll just uh, send an embed which will be my discord.embed and it will have the description alone so you can just say no corresponding anime is found for the search query so it depends on what you want to send i am just gonna say this and i'll have the color as well so the color will be discord.color.red which is pretty much obvious since it's a warning so i can say discord.color dot red not random i want red yeah okay and after this we'll return so we'll end the function right away now we have the anime so we'll just uh, make an embed an embed will be discord dot embed it will have a title so title will be obviously my anime dot title so you can have title in japanese or english there are certain attributes it's it's according to you and i'll set a url to this so url is just the coag and the url will be my anime dot url okay then we'll have a description description of the anime the description will be my anime dot description 
now there's this one thing that the description would not go more than you know i'll just create one f string and i would not let the description be more than of i guess 200 characters so it it's it's according to you so what i can say is i can just make it an f string pass it here i can just say up until 200th index and i'll just pass this so it will look like there's more content you can look into it but yeah we'll just send up until 200 index to avoid spamming and stuff and for the color i'll just say discard.color.random you can obviously put any color i'm just i'm just making it like this because why not okay so discard.color.random now we've got the embed now i'll add fields so i'll say my uh, embed dot add field now if you look at the attributes we have we have you know episodes count we have air we have broadcast we have rating we have we have we have the series type we have the status like uh is it is it currently being made or it is completed so we have that as well we have the poster which can be the thumbnail of our embed and um, if it is nsfw there's there's a lot of stuff so what we'll do is we'll just select some of the stuff you can have a look at the documentation and select it accordingly but i'm gonna select you know four or five stuff i guess so let's go with the episode count first so i'll just say my name as episodes value will be string anime dot episodes okay now i'll just i'll just copy this paste it and i'll just change the stuff so i can you know put the rating and i can just pass the rating in here okay so similarly i'll put the other stuff and i'll revert in a while okay so i have i have quickly added other attributes as well so this is just real simple i've said the rating rating broadcast broadcast status status type type nsfw status is nsfw this will return a boolean and i'm converting it into a string so this was real simple now i'll just add the thumbnail so i'll just say set thumbnail and we'll have the url which will be equal to our anime dot poster so this poster will return us a uh, url so we can use that now we have our embed ready i can just simply send it into the ctx so i'll just say my embed is equal to my embed okay so let's try running it it should work pretty much fine hoping for it to work pretty much fine okay so i forgot the parentheses so this is nsw is a function so we have to pass the parentheses as well so let's try running it and uh, hoping for something good this time now i'll say anime attack on titan okay the board is ready and as you can see it says nsfw status false and it's it, it looks awesome so we have the link as well so yeah this command is pretty much working so i'll say commands dot command and this will be your character search command so how will we search the character so uh, let's have some aliases for this first so aliases would be something like char character and maybe anime character and i'll just name it as image for now it will have a self ctx then our search query so search query will be the image of like the search query obviously so i'll have the try accept statement like i had in this so i'll just copy this there's literally no difference just a bit so i'll paste it and i'll say animate dot character search so i'll have the query and i'll say no corresponding anime character is found for the search query okay so yeah we have the we have the anime character now now i'll just create an embed and i'll literally copy this again so i'll just copy this paste it and i'll say my i'll name it character i guess so i've just named it character character dot title url will be my character dot url we won't be having any description i'll just remove the description color can be random for now you can you can choose it according to yourself then we'll have the image so i'll say embed dot set image 
it will have a url url will be my image url yep we'll have a footer for this so i'll set one footer of this as well so i'll say set footer and it will obviously have text which will be an f string because because we'll be uh, if you look at the documentation again so in the search character you can see we have references as well so this will return us the dictionary of the animes in which the member is like let's say i have ken kaneki so ken kaneki is in tokyo ghoul re and tokyo ghoul so it will just return us the in which the key will be my anime name and the value will be the anime url so we don't need anime url we'll just cope up with anime name and we'll loop through the keys of our anime and we'll just join some stuff so i'll just join the name of the animes so i'll just say my character dot references this was the references here so i'll just say references and you can even check the source for this references so basically references is equal to reference title dot reference url so this is just the key value pairs so i can close this so i'll say my references dot keys and yeah we need to convert this into a list because we need a iteratable thing and we'll just say we need only up until the first two anime names because uh, we can't really you know set all the anime names in the photo it will look a bit weird so yeah i'll just i'll just use two names and i'll just send this into the ctx okay so let's let's test it out i'll just read on the board and as you can see it just sent okabe rentaro here's the link of the character here's the image and here is the anime names so first is steins gate then separated by a comma it is steins gate uh, the movie name okay so this function also works well now what we'll do is we'll create one third function for anime news so i'll say command dot command and no aliases you can have one if you want to and i'll say anime news okay and it will have a self parameter ctx then the amount of news we want so by default the amount of news will be three and obviously it needs to be an integer so i'll define the uh, data type so basically what i'll do is i'll just get the news so news will be my animic dot any news so any news will require amount and i'll have the amount now if i look into this any news as you can see it have a title it have links it have description it have images so what will exactly happen is like let's say i said give me three give me three anime news it will return us a list of three titles similarly for the links it will return us three links in a list and it will return us three description and three image thumbnails basically url of the thumbnails so what i'll say is i can say my links is equal to my news dot link so if i check the source of this link so as you can see they are basically lists the amount will decide the length of the of these lists so i'll just say my links is this my title or my news dot titles similarly my descriptions is equal to my news dot description so yeah i've got the stuff now i'll just define the embed i'll say embed is equal to my discord dot embed now the title will be late, latest anime news and we won't have any description we'll just have the color so color can be discord.color.random obviously you can choose it according to yourself mm, okay now i'll say my embed dot thumbnail so we'll have a thumbnail as well now uh, okay not thumbnail just it will it is set thumbnail basically yeah so set thumbnail will have a url parameter now there is one issue like let's say i called for three news i'll get three images but we can have only one image in a thumbnail we'll we'll just get the top image like the first image which comes so for that i'll just say my news dot images and i'll just get the first one okay so we have we have got almost everything just one thing is left i'll i'll you know maybe define the timestamp as well so i'll say timestamp is equal to my date time dot date time dot utc now so make sure to import date time because i didn't 
import my date time yep and i don't really need this now i'll run a for loop so i'll say my for for i in range amount so basically what i am saying is let's say my amount is three so i'll just make a comment so let's say my amount is equal to three then this range will have zero one and two so basically the length of the amount will be three but it will start the range from zero up until and not including three so this is this is an important point to note so we can use this range to add the fields so what i can say is i can say embed dot add field it will have a name obviously so name will be equal to now we'll do one counter here as well so i'll just create an f string and i'll say my first news basically first news now it it would be my i plus one so what is i plus one i plus one will be let's say the index is zero like the in the first loop the index will be zero i'll add it i'll add one it to it so it will be one so when the index will be one it will show two and like this we'll get the news count so i'll just say one and then i'll put this and then i'll just get the title of it so i'll say my titles first index so basically my i i will have zero at the first and similarly in each loop it will increase spontaneously now for the description description will be equal to my it will be an f string obviously and for the f string we'll have the description so i'll say my descriptions now i'll get the specific description which will be the ith index then i'll say up until 200 so we don't want more than that and so that in order to avoid spam obviously and i'll put three dots as well to indicate that there there is more written context we have just removed it and then we'll give a will give a line breaker and we can just say read more it is obviously so we'll create a hyperlink for this so in embed we can create hyperlink like this like this will be the represented text and the redirecting url will be inside the parentheses so i'll just pass my links of my ith index and obviously we need to say inline is equal to false it is just i've tested it out that's why i know it looks cringe if inline is true so yeah i guess the embed is pretty much ready now i can send this into our ctx okay everything looks pretty much fine but it was to be value not description I don't know what I've gotten into me. So it should be it should be value, not description. Now let's try running it. And as you can see, it, it gives me the latest anime news and it has the thumbnail as well. So I can open the thumbnail and it says uh you know title of each news and um, with the counting we can have read more to read the full news. Uh it looks it looks awesome and it even have the timestamp okay so that's all for this video guys i hope you all enjoyed it there are tons of other features in animec you can you can check them out i've given the link of this documentation in the description like the video if you liked it dislike if you didn't subscribe and share for more and i'll see you guys in the next one